what are the issues, what are the challenges, and then uh, what can the students do personally and as a group to try to deal, respond to these issues, trying to understand the science, the policy, the politics. The knowledge that I have acquired through the program, to me, uh, is just completely is invaluable. It has opened my view as to what is happening in the world. You get the reputation of Johns Hopkins, which is a fantastic institution that's renowned worldwide. Uh, so you get really hardcore science uh, education, um, and they offer incredible remote travel opportunities um, in, in places like Hawaii and Nepal and the Bahamas and Galapagos and Maine and the woods of Maryland. So you really have an opportunity to get that uh, that credit of being in person, even if you live remotely. It's nice that it has the policy aspect tied into it because policy is what drives a lot of the work in this field because the intersection between the science and the policy is really where the rubber hits the road. Uh, the other thing that I want our students to have when they leave our program is uh, a, a leg up in the, in the job market. And so we want to give them as enriched an experience as we can. Um, so we picked faculty who are actually still at this nexus of science and policy in, in, in D.C. Or, or elsewhere. So we want the people who they're teaching to mirror what their careers are like. So if they want to work for EPA, then we're going to give them uh, a, a director at EPA. In fact, we have two or three directors in EPA that teach for our course. If you're interested in working for the National Park Service, we have faculty who work for there. Uh, if you want somebody, if you want to be involved in uh, an NGO like the Environmental Defense Fund, they're on our advisory council. So our faculty are well connected, our students are well connected, and that kind of synergy between that well connectedness, I think, suits them well when it comes time for the for the for the job search. But our program, again, it's uniquely served serves our students because we're at the nexus of science and policy in Washington D.C. We offer a robust curriculum and we offer these field residency programs and if you put all three of those combined I think it makes our program not only competitive but frankly one of the best around. I'm hoping that each one will have a particular issue that they become impassioned about and want to get more involved with and so what we're trying to do is provide the underpinnings from the science and um, environmental and policy perspectives of what are the challenges here and then leave it to them to try to uh, deal with these because we've got some major issues before us now and the opportunity here to, to teach them what are the tools you need uh, in the chest of options to make a difference. I just, I love this program. It's been really great for me. I'm halfway through and I'm, I'm, already, uh, I'm already a little nostalgic for when it's going to be over because I wish I could just keep taking all the classes and, and learning from, from the great professors here.